But it's spatial viewer uh, for iOS and MetaQuest. So I think this came up way back when we were doing Apple Vision Pro stuff. And I we had been talking about the new spatial videos and, and how cool they are. And the fact that MetaQuest came out and is supported. So Josh from Soft Arena, uh, one of the minds behind Walter, which is another app we've talked about, great app, emailed us and said... Uh, it's not about their apps. It's just a story that he thought might be useful. He said, perhaps this can be interesting for those who have an iPhone, a MetaQuest headset, but no Vision Pro headset. Here's the deal. Apple released Vision Pro and made spatial videos a thing. Then MetaQuest released support for spatial videos in their latest update. But, and I didn't know this, according to a Reddit post that he linked this to, uh, you could only upload video- videos from the Quest app using an iPhone 15 so yep. that leaves you in the lurch. What what if you want to share those videos with somebody who doesn't have an iPhone 15 and a MetaQuest? Uh, you know, what are you going to do that? What are you going to do about that? And uh, to solve this, he says, we helped VR developers create Spatial Viewer, the most straightforward and fastest solution for viewing spatial videos without a Vision Pro headset. Uh, basically, you install the Spatial Viewer uh, companion app on your iPhone, if you don't have spatial videos, then you can record them with your iPhone 15 Pro or Pro Max. Uh, then in one tap, you can convert the spatial video and send it to Google Drive. Now you simply open Spatial Viewer on your MetaQuest and the videos will be available there. And they're all synced via the cloud through Google Drive. So we'll have the links to the Spatial Viewer apps and the product page and all that sort of stuff. But there you go. Yeah, that's weird that they would make that requirement. Yeah. I don't know. Like, well, I think it's because the iPhone 15 can take them, right? Right, and, sure. And, and so it has the, I don't know, I, I agree, this is ridiculous, but but it, like, <laughs> it's it got to have something to do with the fact that the iPhone 15 can take them, and so it can see them and process them differently, but there's no reason, obviously, that that needs to be, uh, you know, a, a static yeah, I mean, truth. It's just yeah. the format, right? Like... <laughs> If, yeah, if it can read just the format, format. Them, why can't yep. you transfer the, the, yep. the bits? <laughs> yep. Yeah. I, yep. So, Adam, what's the difference if I send you a video that I've done in spatial and in just a regular video? You can. I'm assuming you can see them both on your Vision Pro. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. W- what's the uh, difference? We did run into that issue where it was weird where we had to kind of send it through iCloud where we couldn't send it direct. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, but I think that was more a file size storage thing maybe i don't know it it i think mm-hmm. what it was trying to do was like dumb it down so that it didn't presume you were sending it to someone with a vision pro like if you texted it or something sure like that. enough yeah i think it came through as just like a standard video without the, the spatial stuff well i right. guess what i'm asking if you watch a regular video on the vision pro vice a spatial video that i've taken mm-hmm. is there is there a difference in what you're seeing what oh are- yeah i mean I maybe I'm not misunderstanding the question, but yeah. obviously a spatial video is got the spatial stuff and regular video what? is just regular video. Yeah. So you don't okay. get the, you don't get the, it, yeah, you get the full immersive kind of thing of the spatial video. Uh, the 3d, the 3d, yeah. the depth. Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. 